Hey, all right, guys. So welcome to the third video of my um, s uh, overclock monitoring and testing guide. So this is pretty much the final piece in your uh, in your overclock monitoring kit. Basically, we in the first video we installed CPU Z. This tells you all your CPU information that you need and your computer information your motherboard memory voltages graphics card all the all that stuff right all so that's cpu z, z or z and then the second program we installed was core temp core temp tells you all the temperatures it's an accurate reading of the of your cpu temperatures and uh, how much load each C, each uh, core in your cpu is taking um so uh, yeah, this this is all. See, core temp is also very important. Like I explained in the in the second video, if you guys haven't watched my first two videos, I recommend that you guys watch that too, just for uh, that ad additional information and uh, uh, a guide on how you install these two programs. Um, so uh, yeah, core temp is important. Like I mentioned in my second video, that uh, it's important because when you're overclocking, you will be changing voltages of your CPUs and um, uh, what happens is when you change the voltage like here the core voltage right now when you ch change the voltage of your CPU um, if you if you increase that voltage that means your CPU is gonna get hotter right and uh, for that you gotta you want to monitor your your uh, you want this core temp program to monitor your temperatures and um, and each CPU maybe it's different. Every CPU has its own threshold um, based on its model. So right now, I guess my CPU is i7 2600K, and that 2600K, the limit, the maximum temperature that um, that basically the CPU can handle while still being able to work without crashing. Uh, I think at the moment it's around 80 or something like that. But basically every CPU has its own limit. So you guys want to check whatever your CPU is. Like here my CPU is Intel Core i7-2600K. You guys can see whatever your CPU is. Go and go online and check whatever the max temperature threshold is. So that way once you... If you overclock, say I want to overclock to a certain limit, maybe four four gigahertz, four megahertz, uh, yeah, four four gigahertz or four point two gigahertz. To get that limit, that means you will have to tweak a few things here and there. So maybe you tweak your voltage. If you tweak your voltage higher, that means your CPU temperature is going to go higher, and you want to use you want to monitor. Um, your temperatures to make sure it's not going past that limit that high that CPU limit which can handle because uh, if it goes higher that means your core is gonna fail and when your core fails your entire computer is just gonna shut off or uh, or freeze right so we don't want that so the third might now we're gonna install the third software and this this software is called prime 95 prime 95 is basically a software that tests your CPU to the max it, it, it like maxes out all your cores so uh, that way you know under high pressure if your CPU can handle it or not uh, sorry about that so um, yeah now we're gonna go ahead and get the third program of the uh, monitor overclock monitoring kit which is prime 95 prime 95 we're gonna be using to test the CPUs so uh, yeah prime 95 is the program we're gonna go up here we'll type in prime 95 and uh, which program are we gonna get we'll get it from download.net just in case you never know sometimes there's all these scamming websites here and there okay so uh, prime 95 is the website we'll uh, Prime 95 is the program, sorry, and then uh, click download now. Uh, download, yeah, we'll continue to download, and you'll see a pop up come up, and I'll say that you want to run the download. So, yeah, here, here it is, or it wasn't a pop up actually, it just started. 
it shouldn't take too long right now it's saying what it's 3.8 mega uh, megabytes so shouldn't take that long um let me just uh pause and get back when it's done okay sorry uh the first one was taking so long it was weird but the second one just downloaded really fast so uh it's done downloading i'll double click it it's a zip file so if you guys don't have winzip or winrar uh you should still be able to open it with uh, the compression program of windows but uh we'll just right click go to uh show in folder and uh then you can just double click this to open it up minimize this okay close all right, and uh, once w w inside the zip file, there's a folder. There's a file called prime95.exe. So this is a program you want to run. It's not actually an. In it won't install on your computer. It's just a program you you can run. So I double clicked it. This comes up, and now uh, just click just stress testing. Let me minimize everything so you guys can see. And uh, now this is the settings that comes up for prime95. Prime95. Uh, well, let's just see. You can choose which kind of test you want. Uh, test some of everything. Lots of RAM tested. Uh, uh, maximum FPU stress data. So right now, I'll, we can do a blend test. That's just a test that will test everything at once. But the thing is, when I run this, uh, let me close this as well. So when I run this, it's going to use up 100% of the CPU load. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's going to use 100% of the CPU load. So you guys want to make sure when you run this, uh, you you you're going to be uh, monitoring. You can monitor your uh, both with your CPU Z, CPU Z, and you want to make sure core temp is open too. I'll double click that. Open it. Yes. All right. And here is core temp as well. So. Uh, so this this is what you want to have these open at the same time there's actually one additional tool that I use which uh, which is just the Windows uh, task manager so you can right click your taskbar down here or you can or at this you can press control shift and escape and it'll open so I'll right click here and click start task manager and uh, now it'll be like this you want to go on to the performance tab right here so performance tab basically tells you how much CPU usage is going on, how much memory you're using. So these are these. This is like my fourth uh, uh, tool that I use when I'm monitoring my overclocked settings. So let's assume that we overclocked our system and uh, everything is uh, everything's okay right now. But now you want to stress test it at maximum load to make sure. Uh, your overclock settings can handle it nothing's gonna crash if it crashes that means you need to you know tweak something here and there to get everything stable so let's assume we overclocked it now uh, I have this open and now okay in prime 95 you wanna just click blend test if you're more advanced you can go to custom and change a few things here there but I'm just gonna go blend test and we'll click OK and now you can see Prime 95 is starting up and you can see in my monitoring right now everything just popped up to 100 percent and uh, it's just it's just uh, it's just um, it's, it's starting to test all the cores at once at the same time uh, what's important is how Prime 95 works is it has eight different workers you can see worker number one two three four five six seven eight basically it's these these workers as they call it they're all running intense mathematical uh, algorithms which is causing the CPU to work 100% so once that starts going 100% you can see the line is at 100 right now everything's going like uh, really high and and also now I can watch my temperatures my temperatures are you you can see the different CPU, uh, cores are working and it's it's right now it's about 50 60 um on average and uh you you should generally run prime 95 for about 20 20 minutes 30 minutes that way you can make sure that all the cores can handle the load of 
and uh, nothing's going to fail. If anything fails, then you'll know something's wrong. Or if any temperatures go higher than the above the threshold, then you know something's wrong. So yeah, that's this is pretty much uh, my entire uh, monitoring kit. I use Prime 95 to test my overclocking settings. I use the Windows Task Manager, Core Temp, and CPU Z to monitor all my settings are correct. Um, so in CPU Z tells me all the core speed that I'm running right now, and uh, um, and also what voltage what voltage I'm using. So this is all my uh, the uh, the overclock settings. Core temp tells me all the temperatures of my cores at the moment while it's being used at 100%. And you can see load here is 100% as well. And then uh, Windows Task Manager just visually shows me that everything is being uh, used up uh, at 100%. So yeah, uh, right now, of course, I haven't actually overclocked my machine to maximum the maximum limit. So uh, uh, right now this is just a general testing but for you guys who are actually going to be overclocking if you are then you know these are the three different four different things you can use to test your overclocking settings and make sure they are stable right so uh, thanks a lot guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video tutorial guide if you have any questions don't don't hesitate to post a comment send a send a uh, message to me and uh, please please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot and uh, encourages me to make more videos. So thanks a lot guys. Uh, take care. I hope this video helps.